Welcome back, Disney Duck enthusiasts, for another episode where we cover anything and everything about our much-loved Disney ducks. Today I want to talk about Donald Duck in film. Our fine feathered friend has his fair share of cartoons and comic books, but he's also made a few feature film appearances. Today I'm talking drama. I'm talking mystery. I'm talking about a shocking kidnapping. Frankly, I'm talking about who framed Roger Rabbit. Now we all know about the iconic dueling piano scene between Donald and Daffy Duck in the Ink and Paint Club shortly before Eddie Valiant sees Jessica Rabbit perform on stage. There's some controversy over whether or not Donald lets a racial slur slip during the fight between him and Daffy, which I have investigated. Online I've found numerous copies of the working script for Who Shot Roger Rabbit, the 1986 film adaptation of the original 1981 book Who Censored Roger Rabbit which offers a very different version of the piano duel from what we see in the final cut of the film. In the script for Who Shot Roger Rabbit, there's virtually no dialogue between the ducks, and the two end the piano duel seemingly amicably. With their arms around each other, they take their bows. No derogatory name-calling in 1986, so how about the final script for Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Donald's written words are doggone, stubborn little, that did it, and then his trademark scream. And with closed captioning on during that scene, my screen shows Donald exclaiming, You gosh darned nitwit. Suffice it to say, Donald Duck's distinctive squawking isn't always understandable, but what we do know is that the ducks got a temper. Any Donald fans heard similar outbursts in just about any of his cartoons. Just listen to him get frustrated with Chip and Dale, it's easily the same tantrum. But I'm not here to talk about a scandalous script slip. I mentioned a kidnapping, and I'm going to talk about a kidnapping. Cut to Eddie Valiant in his musty old office, staring wistfully at the empty other side of his desk where his deceased brother once sat and worked with him. The camera pans over the dusty desktop, showing us a few old and wrinkling news articles clipped out and pasted into a logbook. One article in particular caught my eye. A small duck family detail I'm sure many a moviegoer missed. The headline reads, Valiant and Valiant Crack Nephew Kidnapping. The line below that clearly states, Donald's Huey, Louie, and Dewey returned. From this one small detail, this one easily overlooked few seconds of prop exposure, we get to glimpse into the past of the Valiant Brothers and see something truly intriguing. Were the young ducks snatched by the Beagle Boys to be held ransom in the assumption that their Uncle Scrooge would pay big time for their safe return? It's a shame I can't make out what's happening in the blurry picture next to the article. I'm so curious as to who those kidnappers really were. Oh well. Until next time, stay enthusiastic, duck fans.